Well, I'm honestly not a fan of 3D movies at all. But this movie, I am got to talk to him. Here, look at this. Uh, came out of Kimo Lorber, The Mask, from 1961. This was the first horror film made in Canada, and was also the first 3D film made in Canada. Um, it was produced and directed by Julian Rothman, who, according to the, the bio on here, created the, the Canadian cinema. He also did uh, The Bloody Brood, The Glove, and a couple other ones. Um, he was producer on some other stuff, too. Um, this one, for some reason, doesn't get any respect. I think it's one of those ones that's a little bit hard to find. And even not in 3D, it's pretty fucked up. What happens is there's this mask that if you put this thing on, you go into this world, and for 61, this has some heavy-duty shit in it. First off, the guy who puts it on, he shows up in this world, but it looks like one of those plastic masks glued to him. All you can see is his eyes moving. But his apparel is burnt. It's singed. There's fire everywhere. There's these shadowy figures that are like, um, they have, you know, uh, they're masked. They're shrouded. There's one that propels a boat through this uh, mismaza, and half his face is hanging off with an eyeball hanging out. Uh, there's visible blood, there's some gore, uh, it's just very weird and strange, balls of fire, um, women scantily clad, but again wearing that mask where it obscures all the features but the eyes, and there's very little dialogue, if any, in those scenes, but what happens is uh, it opened up where this guy gives the, mails the mask to a psychiatrist and then commits suicide. Um, wearing the mask is addictive, and the end result of wearing the mask is you're, you want to experience taking someone's life. That's what it comes out to in the end. Um, it's really twisted and creepy, and um, you know the, the uh, Kino Lorber version here has the 3D version if you have a 3D TV and glasses. Um, these glasses actually, they say the mask on the side because... This came out of the Elvira um, video one that they had, had done. Um, but, you know, the other thing, too, is you keep hearing, uh, you know, when the guy's going to put, you know, attempts to put the mask on, that's the trigger to put the, for the audience to put the 3D glasses on, because that's when the whole film comes in 3D. So you hear this thing go, put the mask on, and then they reach back, and they put the mask on, and you got the mask on, and you or transported to a world of really weird shit. And like I say, there is, you know, for a 61 film that was probably not very well distributed here, this thing has some really creepy and disturbing imagery in it. And um, honestly, I can't remember this ever popping up as a kitty matinee. I can't even remember it popping up anywhere on TV. I remember they used the stills in Monster Magazine, sometimes as a comedy thing or something. There was also a scene with uh, a huge hand with, you know, the fingers on fire, like a, like a five-finger candle. So, I highly recommend this thing. I mean, it, it's, it's cool, it's creepy, and you'll be sitting there going, what the fuck, you know? And um, they got the extras, uh, how they did it, um, special features. Uh, it's restored in stereoscopic 3D from the original 35mm elegant elements. Uh, audio commentary. Um, they got a documentary on, on Jul, Jul, um, Julian Rothman, the man behind the mask, and a bunch of other stuff. So it's a really cool film, and I, you know, I can't see why you guys wouldn't want to check it out. It's something, you know, from the very dawn of this shit. And um, like I said, it, it's really weird and creepy, and I'm, like I said, I'm not a big fan of 3D shit. Um, I had a burn off the, the VHS, that's why I still have the glasses around to check it out, and it really works, so... Do yourselves a favor. Check out this old chestnut. I don't think you'll be disappointed. So um, that's our show for today. Um, we'll be more coming down the pike. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff to watch this week and maybe a little more show and tell if I can dig out some more weird shit. So until then, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for tuning in. And we'll catch you on the flip side.